Oh, oh, oh. Welcome, mere mortals, to another Meanderings. I can't remember. 177, I believe this is. So I don't even keep, there we go. I don't keep count of them. This is all. your your coast here, Kyron, with the fancy hat on, mm. feeling pretty good. And my co-host, Juan, over here. Excellent. Hello, hello. I'm going to just jump into the mere mortal moment yes, that I have. Yes, let's so, do it. This is a good one. So I need, a, I need to prepare for this one a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> my wrath would be undeniable. My diamond hands would not waver. Not a single sprout would survive. Dang, we're talk okay. a little bit about this soon. Not a single sprout. Not a single would sprout. So, what Shit. could I be talking about? I have no idea. Mine's a simple one. Start hoarding your event tickets. So, uh, it'll be a little piece I just want to chat to you about because it just uh, interests me. But I want to hear yours. Yours is uh, m- of much more interest to me right now. You know what? I think I even created. Let me just go to my laptop mm. here. I think I even created a better one than that. Because um, I remember thinking mm-hmm. this, and then I remember like, wait, I'll I'll do the the thumbnails, I get ahead, and I'll actually create something a little bit more. So mm. let me actually find this because I think this is. Um, I think it I could be even a better. better. One. Oh, I did. Yes. There we uh, go. Here, here we go. go. Round number two. My wrath would be undeniable. My rage indisputable. My fury irrefutable. Not a. My diamond hands would not waver. Not a single stem, stalk, head, or curd. Would survive. All right. Dang. Yes. Okay. That was better. Okay. That one was I like better. it. I like it. So, what am I talking about? Well, the poet current down. Yeah. The, well, I've been uh, reading a bit of John Keys recently, mm-hmm. so I think you're seeing terrible that right poem. There. Yes. So, <laughs> so when actually I'm going to change that. Once I mm-hmm. make my crypto gains, mm-hmm. check out um, the next musings that's coming out mm-hmm. for for knowledge on that. Yep. Um, I will rid the planet of a plague. Some might even call it a pandemic. Mm-hmm. It's been a particularly rough 2020 for all of us. I think we can all agree on that. So I pledge to do my part. I think we all know what we're talking about right now. Cauliflower will become nothing more than a bad aftertaste in the mouth. Okay. Cauliflower is feral. Mm. Um, I've had some pushback on this via you, via yep. some of the, the listeners. Yes. And so I wanted to talk about, you have to, I, I suppose let's just talk about cauliflower. Why is it good? Why do you find it um, so amazing? Well, here's an interesting question and I think most of the listeners might agree with me. No, I will say no one's going to agree with me unless you're the minority. But actually, don't give a shit. Like, I don't think cauliflower in particular tastes any good in the sense of, could you make broccoli taste really nice? Sure. Could you make cauliflower taste nice? Sure. Could you take Brussels sprouts taste nice? Sure. To be honest, for me personally, I'm like, I don't care. None of the flavors for me. Honestly, it's like exquisite. I don't know, duck or chicken that I've had as of late. Yeah, I'd say like, it's amazing. Am I going to go out of my way for it? No. So for me, if you, if you want to kill all cauliflower and get rid of it, uh... So be it. Let's get rid of the cauliflowers. But is it a is it a food that I would say like, oh, I can't eat it. I can't bear to eat it. Nah. I think it's just because I'm not weak. So I think that's what happens with the weak folks when they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, I can't have I can't have cauliflower, man. I can't have a. That's that's. I think when you you line up, there's mere mortals and there's people who don't like there's, cauliflower. There's that's, it's the, it's the sub mortals. Yes, yeah, it's, it's well, even, well, why, even why below sub Why the strong disdain for, for cauliflower? Oh, where, honestly, where did man, it stem like, from? Um, did you get fed bad cauliflower? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like being abused when I was eating cauliflower. Yeah, back yeah, in the yeah. Day. Uh, <laughs> Bad emotions to the cauliflower. Yeah, no. Well, look, my my first hatred of food was definitely pumpkin. Pumpkin was really, really disgusting for me as a kid. Okay. Um, my mum loved it, um, and she'd also cook it. Would have like a roast vegetable night or a roast dinner night, hmm. and so I would have, you know, really, really delicious like lamb or um, these roast potatoes that you cook in the oven. Mm, exquisite. Mm. But then it would be matched with. Damn, I have to eat the kumra. I have to eat the pumpkin. I hate kumra as well. Kumra's not nice. What the hell is kumra? Uh, it's quite sweet potato. It's a type of sweet potato. You're right, okay. And um, yeah, so I that used to be it. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I've, I've noticed, as we all do, our mm-hmm. taste change over the years. Yep. Um, but cauliflower has never, never done it for me. Never. It's, it's all. Ne- it never went to struggle. the yeah. into the palate as like something is acceptable. Yeah, yeah. Always uh, refuse to come in. Yeah. So maybe we wow. can talk a little bit about disgusting foods and or combinations of foods. Mm. So um, I'll. Uh, well, we've talked in the past. I don't know if we've actually talked about it in the podcast, but the mixing of of curries or keeping it separate. You know, mm, we, we, we did combinations. Talk about that. We did talk about. Um, that. I mean, I'll say straight off the bat, I don't think there's any bad combinations unless you get to some real extremes. Like mm. maybe you're mixing. Coke with your mashed potato. Oh, Coke so and Pepsi. You, yeah, like if you're doing something crazy like that, okay. I can't get on board with you. Like that's probably pushing it a bit too far. My, my brother back in the day, what he would do, um, just to annoy me and mum and dad, would he would he'd get McDonald's food, you know, mm. the classic McFlurry and then some chips and stuff like that. 
and then he would start eating his McFlurry with the chips. Yeah, I, um, I would do that all the time too. Easy. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Um, so then he would take it to a next level. Mm. I'm okay. I can sort of see it. Mm. I, I probably wouldn't do it myself. I can sort of see it. Yep. Then he would just do stuff like literally get the kitchen bench, put ice cream on it, put chips in it, <laughs> grab some like chocolate things, grab some salt and pepper, put it all in, eat it, and be like, mm, "This is really delicious." And we're all telling him like. No, P. Was he doing it out of I, like I trying to muck around with people? Uh, yeah, he, yeah, for okay, sure. Okay. Like he, there was no taste. Like there's just, it's, it's like sure, King's it's, Cup with with food. And yeah, just yeah. Being it, like, surely, yeah this. it surely couldn't have tasted <laughs> well. Like you know, no matter how weird your tastes yeah, okay. are, there's a there's a certain level where I think you're just being an asshole. Yeah, uh, there's a level of extremeness that most people go, no, this yeah, is, this yeah. is not a uh, of good food. But no. Uh, so you, you don't have uh, any particular ones because well, I've got a list here of some things. Gee, I mean, com- in comparison, I guess to that story of from younger years, I think I used to be a person back in the day. I like, didn't want to have any types of fruits, any vegetables. I was nah, like my rice, potatoes. <laughs> Meat, that's it. As I grew Gym up, one, you can I don't know. And, and as I grew up, and I just started going like, "Ooh, I had my first apple. Ooh, I had my first couple of things." I think one, my first apple was in high school. First. Man, I just first apple I in British actually, was in high school. I, yeah, I actually think I remember. Yeah, that story. like it was like, oh, I've never had an apple. How do you eat this? <laughs> to <laughs> what is this? Yeah, to now I, I don't. You just used to be, throw them at people. Yeah, now there must be the only things I, I couldn't say for sure that I'm like, oh, I would eat it, is because I haven't eaten them yet. But most everything else, mm. it's like either it's like I can stomach it or I can eat it. And as long as you have a, a nice dressing or a sauce to it, man, I'll pretty much eat everything and anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I All think right. I, there, was a, there was probably a point in 2000 and I don't even know, maybe 14, I'd say, 15, where I like migrated from eating food for flavor to eating food purely for sustenance and micronutrients. And from then on, I've just been like, I've never cared about food mm. since then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah. happens when you start counting calories and go to the gym. You just hate food. You just hate food or, forever. Or, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it just becomes like a that's neutral a side thing. Effect. Mm. That's side effect. You know, people are like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym to get big muscles. Forget about mm. that. Just be aware. You're going to you're gonna hate. You're not, no, you're going to hate food. You're just gonna, not going to care about food. You, you Apart should, from the fact of getting it in. You should start giving them plasma donations because sometimes what happens is you can actually taste iron in your mouth mm. for whatever reason. So, you know, maybe that's just a reason you can actually start tasting again. Taste iron again. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll list a couple. Okay. Do you know what a michelada is? No. Okay. A michelada. First encountered this in Mexico and it's basically, you know, a beer. Oh, nice. I'll have a beer. Oh, you know what would make this better? Mixing it with tomato juice. And so what they do is, oh, uh, it's, I have heard of that. it's uh, yeah. I, well, you I, told me about this. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I would have been me. I, I can't remember the the exact mixings of it, but yeah, you put that in. You, you know, it's just tomato juice and beer, uh, and then around the rim you put like it's sort of like a spice. I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's sort of like a imagine like if you ground out. It, this is what I imagine it would be if you ground up like pomegranate and then mm. added like a little bit of spice to it maybe like pomegranate and paprika ground it up until it's sort of like a ready little mush yeah. thing and then you put that on the side that's sort Just of what doesn't it was sound like. pleasing no, at all that. no no it was terrible uh, i you know i got one because i had to because mm. every oh, I gotta try a michelada so mm. super mexican um no. No. although you're saying that i would say that for me tomato juice i don't don't enjoy tomato juice mm. so even like people have a, a bloody mary I'm like, no, nah, yeah. that's disgusting. I'm yeah. not having that. Yeah. Um, uh, tomatoes for me, I, I can sometimes deal with the, uh, you know, little cherry tomatoes. That can be like a nice addition to mm-hmm. a salad maybe. But the actual full tomatoes, whether it be sliced on burgers or whatever, no, never not done for you. it for me. Um, in Colombia, they have micheladas as well, but okay. they are fruit ones. So it'll be beer and mango juice. It'll oh, be yeah, beer that, that, they're, and, nice. they're nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are much mm-hmm. better. Those ones, are, I'm like, okay. And you can yeah. find them here in Australia as well. Yeah, do yep. you? Okay. In uh, Bavarian. Bavarian sells them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, is, uh, you mean shandies? No, they have like proper like, like beer and is. then adding some... Well, I don't think they call them that, but they're like, oh, yes, we'll, and we'll add some mango juice to it. Okay, well. I'll have to so. check that out next time I'm there. Uh, Broccoli, why am I eating trees? Another <laughs> a, a very valid question. Um, I mean, I feel like if you go back to some evolutionary <laughs> views, I think it makes sense to eat trees. And like that's probably between trees and like fruits and whatever else, like those mostly worlds available and animals. Well, on your devolving back to a, an ape, which uh, I think you're yep. probably like 75% of the way there, yep, you can yep. start eating trees and tell me which trees are I will, nice. I will, I will. The next thing was like just up in a tree like, like, like a eating koala. Up, eating up the... Yeah, I'll be a koala. <laughs> well, ne- ne- next leaves. thing, you know what'll happen? Next thing, you're up in the tree eating some eucalyptus, some crypto guy comes along. Damn, I want one of them things. I'm going to adopt that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, what about stuff that's maybe a bit overrated? So for me, cold seafood, no, nah. none. So um, no matter how you want to put it, whether it be you know octopus and a salad, whether it be well, octopi, I don't know how you say them, yeah. um, whether it be, I think you can get like cold mussels and cold oysters and things like that. Yeah. Uh, none of them do it for me. I'd say Just, I'd say I enjoy yeah. it, but I would still say it's overrated. Like when you, back in the day, when you go to a really fancy all-you-can-eat buffet and it'd be like, oh, it's it's fish buffet. Mm. It's all-you-can-eat oysters and prawns. I enjoyed them, but it's not like I'm paying, I want to pay $80 instead of $40 all-you-can-eat just because you give me some prawns and some oysters. Yeah. So yeah. For me, ice cream, overrated as hell. Oh, man. I, that's, I think a lot of, I think a lot of people would disagree to, with this. To... I reckon a lot of you mere mortals really enjoy ice cream. Stop pussyfooting around. It's not good for you. It's not good for you. And it just tastes like, like it's not that great. I just, whenever I have it, I'm okay to have a, a scoop. But, or even like say a cone or I don't know, a pack of it. Fine. Like one Magnum. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. To have two? Uh, very rare. I think I've done it once in my life to have two Magnums. Okay. Or like that much ice cream. I'm like, oh, I, nah, I just don't feel. Out. But I also feel like I have uh, some sort of intolerance to lactose as well. So it might be also due to that. Mm. But I'd say ice cream. Like, I'd prefer to drink more milk than have more ice cream. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, so I know you're not a fan it. of milk. What, what you can do is just mix, you know. Mix the ice cream so it melts. I used to do that when I was younger. Yeah. I would used to put it in a bowl. Me and my sister would mix around our ice cream until it would melt and just drink it. I feel like, I'd be like, oh, I'm getting it more towards its natural sense of milk. And then I'll, <laughs> I'll drink it. So it'd be like milk with sugar. That's basically yeah, yeah. what it would be. With a yeah. bit of chocolate slopped in. Damn. Dude, you're, you're, you are definitely regressing into some form. I am. Of I'm regressing. I'm going. I'm going. I'm trying to. I'm like growing so fast. I'm going back to the beginning. Yeah. Next. <laughs> yeah. But like I think it was one of our very first episodes. We we're talking about my fitness pal having dirt on the um oh, on, yeah. on the uh in the calories. It, yeah. Yeah. In yeah, the yeah, calories. Yeah. You, you, you're back, in, back at that stage. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if like what the right calorie type uh, density of uh, ground I can find. <laughs> what so nutrients can eat, you'll it get from it? Makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Soups. I've always found soups pretty overrated. I've never had a soup and gone, you mm. know what? That was better than having a salad or a dish of some sort. I think. Uh, I think liquids, hot liquids, definitely are overrated. So hot liquids. Yeah, I'm talking mm. coffee. I'm talking hot chocolate. Hot chocolate should be something I should really like. No, Isn't every okay. everything like you burn your mouth when you drink it. <laughs> it's you know there's no consistency. It's like oh, I might as well just be drinking water. Mm. Fruit salads as well, just disappointing. You know, you can, you know, you can um, add fruit to to things, mm. but um, I would say actually having just a salad with fruit, so sort of like a rocket salad with maybe some pear um, and apple. Yeah, I'd probably be better. Yeah, that, mm. that those are okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, fruit, maybe pavlova. I don't know. Where, not I've, a fan I've, of fruit. Yeah. I'm not a fan, nor do I dislike. I just don't care. Yeah, just, I like just straight don't care. Yeah. Um, and the only other thing I would say is uh, back in the day, I really hated sauces. I would not eat any sauce of any sort. Oh, wow. Okay. I would just... Nah, I enjoy sauces because I just don't personally use them myself. So whenever I go out or they're available, mm. I'm like, oh, oh, wow. Everything <laughs> is amazing. It doesn't matter what I'm using. Tomato sauce, wonderful. <laughs> Barbecue sauce, excellent. Something like... Uh, one, tahini, one, man, amazing. People one day one's gonna try a- aioli and they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, shit. exactly. Like I just don't. The first time ever. I just don't like, like for the. <laughs> I almost feel like the sheer effort of buying it and having it available is too much. It's just like if it if it's right there available, I'll use it and yeah. I'll enjoy the taste. If not, I can't bring myself to even purchase it. Okay. It's like with with sweets and chocolates and whatnot. Like I really enjoy them, but if they're not like immediately there, I just don't care. Like I'm not gonna go out and purchase them. No. They're just if they drop on my lap. I will have them. Yeah, no, nice. it's fine. Very good. The last one I just said is substitutes in general. So we've already talked about mm. the vegan cheese, um, sugar-free chocolate, you know, things like that, where it's you, you're trying just go for the full thing. You're trying to get away with something. Nah, Don't do it. Nah, no, nah. no. Nah, I, uh, I I dislike those uh, replacements of things. Yeah, just agreed. if you're going to do it, like even with uh, Coke. Like, you know, if you're going to have Coke, just have the full Coke rather than the Diet Coke. And people go, or like Coke Zero. Oh, but it's it's low calories, less caffeine. Well, you know, uh, Coke Zero has caffeine. Uh, the other ones, sure, there's no sugar. What's What are they doing to make it so it's no sugar? Like, that has no sugar. What the hell else do they have mm. in there? It's probably better to have the sugar that's in your normal Coke if you want to have a Coke. Okay, I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> Ooh, what, what's, what's a bigger killer? Like sugar or unknown items? Uh, I think uh, my dad actually sent me a... 
Um, all right. Uh, disclaimer here. This is totally yes. unscientific and just random. Straight shit from Kai's dad. From yep. Yeah. Uh, Daddy Dan. Um, he sent me a link, and I think I'd seen research on this before, which was just the average sperm counts of men are just dropping. Like they're uh, going like. Yep. And I think part of this was due to stuff we were, I think I talked about in the testosterone section about BPAs and plastics mm-hmm. and stuff, which most containers if you buy a new one it says bpa free 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 of whatever Mm -hmm. but yeah i think there's um i think there's some research out there saying that um sperm counts are are going down so it probably is all the shit that has been in the food since the i guess like 1940s when it started becoming big prevalent big food you know preservatives and shit like that yeah i would say so yeah uh uh, yeah i don't know the i feel like i'd rather tackle the known than the unknown in in the food world like (laughs) I'd rather yeah. tackle known, the known sugar quantity than the unknown stuff that's happening yeah, in, in yeah. the other country. Although, like, you know, I'm not one to say that I've never had, like, I have Coke Zero all the time. Like, I just, I'm like, oh, I want to have less calories. Cool. Whatever. Yeah. yeah Is that the unknown? Extremely rare for Should me be. as well. So, um, yeah, some stuff with my mere mortal moment. So, the uh, start hoarding your event tickets. So, why am I talking about that? Well, it was all the, it's interesting to find all the old stuff that's becoming now really valuable. So, I saw who posted it. It was someone on Twitter, and it was a Super Mario, or it's like an old Nintendo 64 um, game that recently went, like someone just found it randomly and sold it for 660-something thousand dollars. Nice little um, bit of coin Tolga, right there. actually. Tolga on, on Twitter, who posted that. And it was like one of the run, random old games. Now, granted, it's probably rare, whatever. You're starting to find now like old PlayStation 1 games, old PlayStation 1s, all the Pokemon cards that used to be back in the day, all the baseball cards, all these sort of things. Now they're worth like mint, heaps of money. Do you think there's something now? So my thought was, oh, maybe something like event tickets, you know, because maybe in the future, let's 50 years from now, you won't be able to, like you won't attend in-person gigs anymore. It'll be all digital. Mm. It'll be all Yeah, or there'll just reality. be no paper at all. Yeah, so maybe, you know, in the future having these tickets of like oh that was when you saw them live like in person oh wow that's going to be really valuable can you think of other things that right now we utilize day to day or even maybe the last 10 years that could be in the future something like the pokemon cards they'll be like oh all of a sudden they're really collectible because the world has just changed so much yeah Yeah. i'm I'm not i'm not sure about um sort of like general Uh, like a, a general standard thing that anyone could get i could mm. i could see much more things like you know my if 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 a, a band suddenly explodes and then mm. the the people in that band they have licenses and now in the future there's no more licenses on yep. um you know physical card things mm. I, w- I would i would see that being more valuable i mean you know there's probably there's definitely shit out there anyway of, of people collecting Mm. Um, John Lennon's bus tickets and John yeah, Lennon's stuff you know, like that. Yep. used whatever. Mm. Um, so I, I would see more of that happening. Um, but in terms of yeah, general stuff, not not unless people are doing it anyway, like maybe Yeezys or yeah, or, or, or where it's already got a sort of scarce supply. Um, because like, yeah, like the the place I'm thinking because of, like mm. Pokemon cards, no one gives a shit about the Pokemon cards. That the, are game shit. Itself, like the, the game itself, like the game itself, no one cares about the yeah. game itself. Or, or I mean, even you know, just the general cards. You think, oh man, I've got some old Pokemon cards. Mm. No one wants them because most of them are shit. Yep. It's only those rare ones. So it's the sort of like specific ones. Yeah, it's sort of like the rare. It, it was rare to begin with anyway, mm. so it already had a bit of value. Yeah, I don't know. in my mind, I was thinking, you know, like event tickets or. So you're thinking about the NFT trend at the moment, the Nifty trend, Um, almost like a reverse Nifty. So what are the things that are going to become really digitalized in our world, which in, I don't know, 30, 40 years time, the real hard copy stuff will now become like really rare. Now, one of the things I was thinking like, oh, you know, books, books and like first edition copies or similar things or signed copies. Sure, they're rare even now, but people at the moment mostly still print out lots of books for people to sell, like, you know, latest Jordan Peterson book he printed out I'm sure millions of copies so people can buy the hard copy of them but in 30 40 years time I could see that becoming either a nifty or just a digital print like oh everyone's just consuming in digital print so what's the point of creating a book copy of it like a hard copy of it so it might be like a reverse type where there's only a hundred hard copies of this particular book now the problem there is sure you could reprint them but things like signed copies and stuff like that I reckon that could be those next valuable pits because everything will just be digital 
nothing is going to be the in-person thing. So uh, I actually went through some of my old stuff when I was at mum and dad's place and I found a couple of event tickets that I had. I've talked about it from wrestling, my sort of front front seats at a uh, SmackDown and, and Raw match in Brisbane. So if there's anyone out there or if you're listening to this 25 years in the future, so it's 2046 out there and you really want that ticket, reach out to me. Send me an email. Mm. I'll sell you those tickets for it. Yeah, good value. You, you uh, high fired John Cena, didn't you? Or yeah, well, I say high five like a yeah, like a what do you what you wouldn't call a high five when you like slap someone's yeah, hand? Yeah, like okay, this. like you call we, that? It's a, I slapped his hand. A, a, yeah. I slapped his hand and he slapped mine. Yeah, okay, so maybe five. you should like just cut off your hand and then you <laughs> sell know, my in, in hand. Case. Sell my fingers. <laughs> They've touched on Cena once upon a time. He's probably dead if you listen the, to this in 2046. The infamous uh, wine stubby fingers. Yeah, 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 you love them. You love them. So. <laughs> Uh, I've, I'm actually banking on. So one thing I I have been keeping with the purpose of potentially Good. someday um, selling or uh, being a collectible or something like that is uh, one of my dad's friends who lives in Asia, in Korea to be exact. He um, for I think I can't remember when the World Cup for this was. I believe it was t- 1998 maybe 2002 where there it was a, like a joint world cup between korea and i believe maybe japan or something okay. like that I'll have and a look. there was a it was sort of like this medallion thing that he got me which is um it's sort of like a an encased silver plate with five coin korean coins in it which are all like special minted ones and it's in a you know the shape of a soccer ball with sort of colors and the soccer ball pattern on it uh, and then a little stand thing behind it uh Potentially that is okay. that that's sort of something I'm holding on for you know 50 years and then maybe one day. But um, other than that, man, um, I'm I'm just happy the uh, I think general trend is going towards less shit. Uh, I'm, I'm personally <laughs> I just just honestly this, this is actually becoming a bit of a philosophy for, for mm. me. I'm, I've been thinking about it more and more of just it's not that I'm skint. It's it's more that I hate waste. I really hate mm. seeing waste. So uh, am I going to you know, exchange this phone here for the next model that comes out next year. No, this phone is getting used until it's done. Until it's gone. Same um, with the car. Same with, same, same with yep. the car. Same with the clothes. Same with basically everything that I own. It's mm. like I'm using this until it's done, and uh, you know, even even to the point where it's maybe you know slightly um, dishevelled. Sort mm. of like me walking. A, like I'm not going to walk around in rags, but. Um, um, you might see like a little hole on the side or something. Yeah. yeah. I think my philosophy with that, because it's very similar, but it's, as long as it's serving me for a purpose that I need it to do, there is no need to upgrade for any reason. So like with my phones, one of the reasons I actually upgraded to like a very latest phone, you know, people were like, if you could look at it from an external, it's like, oh, you wanted the brand new phone. The sole reason I wanted that extra one, 5G. which has been annoyed, no, nah, it's <laughs> not even 5G, was that I wanted to be able to edit videos on a more powerful phone. And then, obviously, I didn't do my research properly. So this is not on me. But that that particular uh, program doesn't even work on the on this brand new phone because it's obviously too new. So I was like, God damn, so I've got to wait for that. Um, but in any case... Is it, was, it there it was, now? No, still isn't still it. Still not. So, whatever, throwing it away. But <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, for me, I think as long as it serves a purpose for what you need it for, fantastic. Like, sure, do I have a much better car than I really need to go from A to B? Yes. Does it bring me a level of joy that I'm happy with? totally so i'm like oh that's totally fine i couldn't see myself say with my current laptop i could have a ridiculously powerful laptop am i going to go get one no to me it's like it's excess to have two terabytes of storage and whatever why i don't need it i'm using Mm. cloud storage it's the minimum i need fine even when it comes to things like uh like for me at least ads don't don't bother me too much so with my personal spotify see yeah i don't care about paying for spotify if i listen to an ad every 30 minutes i'm like that doesn't bother me. Yeah, That's okay. cool. It's not like detracting from the value. I guess. Dude, I'm so glad they don't have ads and podcasts. You know, Ooh, Spot- that is true. Spotify mm. putting ads. They extra. do if you listen to it in a particular way. Really? So if you listen to music, so if you listen to like say a couple of songs yeah, and you don't play an ad and then you go to play a podcast episode, it will get ads. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there is like a very specific way, almost like your stupid posting to Instagram story. There is a, a stupid way that you can get ads to appear before a podcast. <laughs> oh, I should and try that, it. <laughs> that infuriates me because you can't normally with uh, Spotify ads, I don't know about the other platforms, but you can choose to skip the three when you're looking at it or it'll give you an option to kind of, you can get out of Spotify and go back in. 
Mm. Not in this case. Like, mm. it is one of those where you cannot skip it. Um, that always infuriates me. Yeah, okay. It's like, I don't have an option. Yeah, well, I, I don't listen to any um, music on Spotify, so that's um, yeah, my, no. well, my well, now that we're yeah, YouTube Premium, so it's, uh, it's a good thing to do with. And I think it's the 2002 World Cup that you were thinking of. 2002. Yeah, yeah, that Yokohama. makes sense. Yokohama. Yeah, I think 98 was France, maybe. I'm not sure. There we go. Tried to find. Couldn't find it. Um, another, just a little one point for wanted to be Andron. We were talking about shit books mm. just recently because you've yes, been reading we some some bad books. I don't know if I'd say all the way to <laughs> shit, but who knows? So, yeah, but the but difference between so the difference between a an all right book, it's you don't really notice it. Like an all right book, like let's say a six out of ten or a seven out of ten, because that's an all right book. They come and go, and they they might make a little impression on you, but not massive. But the difference between a, a shit book and a good book is just outstanding like it's outstandingly ridiculous how big that gap is so between like a seven to a nine that's pretty big and then you think th- seven to a two that's pretty big but it is just magnitudes difference between a two and a nine like just insane magnitudes i just can't believe it and i'm just thinking about some of the shit books you're reading and the one shit book that i've read in recent times and i, I hark my mind back to there was a book i tried i can't can't even remember the title of the name but i started reading i was three pages in and it was some story. And I was like, this is the biggest amount of drivel I have ever... Like, if it's just Damn. everything was wrong. I'm pretty sure I was like 13 at the time. And I was like, this is so bad. I want to like fling it out a window and like never see it again. Like, I want to tell people of how bad this book is. Yeah, yeah. So you don't yeah. have to suffer the pain that I've had to on reading the sentences in this piece of shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know if you feel that way with really shit books. If you'd like irk you. Like, it, like removes time away from you. I don't know, man, but I've had some yeah. atrocious times. Yeah, like we, we should all go kill out, go kill those authors Yeah, for wasting one's time. We're uh, wasting <laughs> all population's time. Uh, look, I, I don't think I'm that strong with it. You know, I, I sort of just acknowledge that some things aren't meant for me. So if it's mm-hmm. if it's not meant for me, it's not meant for me. Um, it's a good, good to call out though. You know, recently we talked about, you know, we don't really say bad things about books and we don't review shit books. <laughs> yeah. Gonna put my hand up here. I've done that three times recently. Uh, to be fair, they've been with a purpose. So, the, yes, pur- the these purpose are specifically the, sort of like yeah, yeah, there's, and yeah. So one Buddhism. was one was meditation. So that was sort of um, you know I'm gonna do that regardless of whether I particularly enjoy it or not, which mm. is what most of my book rating enjoy it or really really get something out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other one, uh, the other two have been books I've been reading in Spanish, which the purpose there is. Yes, it's to you know read a book, I guess, yeah. but it's more to practice my pronunciation to to find new words that um, potentially I haven't heard of before. Um, do you know what tanda is? Tanda. Tanda. I believe it's tanda. It's it's. I think it's like um, a pile of of something. Like it's it's just a real way of saying like a, a collection of things. Uh, in like what language? In in Spanish. In Spanish. Yeah, tanda. tanda. Yeah, uh, I, I think so. I yeah. think so. I was thinking of something like that. I could be wrong. Yep. Um, and so yeah, some of those. Mm. Uh, and I'm reading one at the moment and I'm not enjoying it, but it's like, all right, we'll just get through this just because I want to like practice. Oh, um, okay. So. Oh, okay. So at least you got like the, the practicing piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's semi the point. And then also like, um, because it's so stop and start with that in the sense that I'm, I'm reading and then it's like, oh, I don't know what that word is. All right. I'll have to go look it up. Mm. It, it takes away the flow from it. So it's sort of sort of good in a way because I'm not ruining a shit book by not understanding this. Uh, yes, sorry, okay, not yeah. ruining a good book by by having to continually go to the computer, mm. check the pronunciation of this particular word and go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I just think the only time in my life now that I would want to read a really shit book and if me and mortals, we've got a really shit book, I'd love to hear about it. Like, this the shittest book you can find maybe reading that for the whole purpose of being able to share why it was so bad to me like that's the only time where i can think okay that might be worth it to me that's and worth it every other time i'm like no this is just like you know whatever you invest that time into reading books 16 hours 20 hours man i ain't wasting uh, i've got no time to waste on that very good very good oh mate look at this. any uh look any this. other things you want to talk about once that's all from me we... that's all from the meandering session i'm actually just trying to See, all right, this is where I need to be for the microphone because yeah. these, uh, these glasses are uh, kaleidoscopic. Go back to the kaleidoscopic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kaleidoscopic. That's, to, that's to what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> um, so if you want some <laughs> some non-ship books, mm. you should go to the Mere Mortals. We've got some uh, interesting things going over there. We've also got... Um, I, I actually want to know what people think about 
the, our food choices. Like, are we bizarre in the fact that uh, you really don't like stuff? I really don't like stuff as well. And it's, you know, particular things. Fucking cauliflower. We've got to get rid of it, people. <sighs> got to get rid of it. Any other thoughts? Anything to mix up? No, folks. I think uh, if you've tuned in all the way and you haven't subscribed just yet, then um, first of all, just slap yourself in the head because, <laughs> you know, you've been listening to, you know, 100 odd episodes or you listen to 30 minutes and you don't already subscribe or liking it or sharing with people. Just go do that now. We obviously appreciate it. We're supporting it. There's going to be a few changes coming in the future as well. So as, always, we always, as always. We always, always talk about a few. It's <laughs> always continuous change, which is a good thing. That's it. That's can't, it. can't remain the same all the time, folks. So that's it from us, mere mortals. One out. Current out. Puzzle.